I welcome all of you again for this course. Very interesting course called New and Innovative Product Development, and we just acronym it as IPRO uh, for for some good purposes. Okay. <laughs> So let's do a quick recap. I'll just talk about. Uh, sorry, uh, this V, the product development V, and we will never lose the focus that this is the path we are going to traverse uh, throughout this course and even in any organization uh, in any industry. Generally, this is the path. This may have little bit of alter alterations, but uh, overall this does not really have uh, does not really change and hasn't changed over uh, many years. OK, uh, very moving to only few slides very quickly. Uh, I'll just go there. <clears throat> uh, right, we talked about all the psychological inertias and things like that. We talked about an interesting tool called FAT, right? Feature adaption tool yesterday. We talked about uh, how we can we adopt the ideas from other industries like uh, biometric from government reserves and and uh, even FBI. Those kind of uh, institutions use the uh, biometric uh, technology and we are not inventing the technology ourselves, but we are here for integrating the technology into our products. OK, in fact, if you ask me nothing, everything is available, right? We all uh, we all uh, uh, build the we use the building blocks which are already available and then we create a completely new system out of it. Then we talked about something uh, something on uh, the trees, which is theory of inventive problem solving. Uh, Al Shuler is uh, is from Russia who developed this theory back uh, during World War uh, period uh, around 1940s and 50s. And uh, he made a very bold claim that everything under the sun uh, follows only 40 inventive principles and we will look at it uh, today. And in general, the, uh, the theory talks about uh, this is the general framework, right? It starts with a specific problem, your problem, then moves to general problem and then then general problem. We already know the general solutions. And once we know the general solution, uh, we context, we understand our own con we go back to our own context and develop or create the specific solution, right? So journey is not directly from your problem to your solution, which generally happens, but journey is other way around. Uh, it is this route, okay? So this is a dimension if you want to look at it. So your problem, your solution is one dimension, but you use and take the help of a second dimension which is a general problem and general solution in terms of abstraction so this is an abstraction of the problem and abstraction of the solution okay uh, then we also said as a part of trees the problems can be defined using tie of four types and we are interested in type four where the contradiction actually happens uh, and strong contradiction exists and that is where we have the highest potential for creating innovative ideas, patterns and things like that. OK. And uh, I encourage you and uh, this whole methodology encourages you to discover type four problems. Uh, we are not that lucky and sometimes that we only get to work on type one and type two. Uh, if you are, you are lucky, but generally that's not the case. So please, please make a note of it. Then we talked about uh, how trees uh, helps you to resolve the contradiction and the philosophies are about re uh, resolving the contradictions right how how it resolves we, we will see it today but the whole philosophy asks us to define the problem as a contradiction or a seesaw effect right we saw this spring, spring stiffness and then couple of examples a lot of examples we saw very good uh, uh, set on uh, across process and products and we spend some time in you know realizing that problem has to be defined uh, which is in terms of the contradiction format a versus b and we did that sort of a practice and you need to do that uh, yourself uh, when you go back 
and you would uh, you will agree with me and we have seen it it takes a little bit of time and effort energy to define it in this format which is a very simple and crisp format at the end of the day however it takes some time it is it is not uh, you know very clear on the first uh, day or first moment it takes some time which is worth investing because if we are defining the problem in incorrect way so incorrect problem is likely to lead us to incorrect solutions right so we have to move from uh, description to definition and i have seen uh, really ladies and gentlemen uh, the pages of description right uh, the pages and pages of problem descriptions with a lot of data information and then sometimes we get lost into the uh, what actually is the problem and what are we solving uh, one more point uh, see uh, we did not talk about the solution to point number 7 here load capacity versus size on for the roller bearings and load capacity versus noise so it has two contradictions two set of problems uh, right at the same time how do they solve i mean we are here to resolve it that's what the methodology talks about can anybody tell me just a warm up right today's warm up can anybody tell me how do they resolve uh, the bearing problem i hope i am audible yes guys i'm waiting for your uh, answers and don't worry about grease and bush rock okay what else lubrication yeah what is the i'm looking for you know generally i'm asking you that keyword lubrication yeah, yeah yeah what is the keyword the technology of the solution you we talked about keywords here right somebody told me yesterday gasoline direct injection it is all there in in the industry somebody talked about just in time so these are you know famous keywords in the industry that is something important for us lubrication you are right what is the technology called as solution called as we are just breaking the ice yes you know it i mean nothing to do with very um, uh, advanced technology as such it's all known it's all available people nowadays all most of the machines especially which are running at a very high power speeds they don't use ball bearings uh, whenever there is a problem of size and noise they use something else what is it called as oil lace bushes no 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 self lubrication yeah self lubrication is a, a future today what are they doing today today means since long they are doing it nothing new actually they uh, we are not in the, lot of industries are not using bearings uh, uh, ball bearings or roller bearings for heavy applications what are what are they using no no roller bearing this is a roller bearing problem only material like here no 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 very simple you know it you have studied it magnetic bearing yeah that could be a solution but that's again a future i am just asking about what are we doing today magnetic bearing of course is a future and some some uh, industries like aerospace uh, might be using it but i am saying generally widespread hydrodynamic bearing okay great thank you somebody said me hari hari krishna great thank you i was looking for that simple keyword because we have studied it uh, if you if you type that literature of hydrodynamic bearing you will see all the details and everything is available that's why that keyword is important now oh, the point is hydrodynamic bearing or journal bearing is all introduced uh, after discovering this problem of roller bearings long back about 40 years back Uh, all most of the engines uh, were well were uh, were running with the roller bearing only but then we had this problem of size and noise and then uh, you know industry moved ahead technology evolved and we have journal and then future will be magnetic and, and self lubrication no doubt now what i'm trying to say you tell you is that there are two contradictions here size versus noise 
and one technology can solve multiple problems, multiple contradictions. Just wanted to make that point clear. It's not that we are solving only one problem and one one solution can only address one problem. You can have multiple set of uh, contradictions and you can have a simple solution or sorry, single solution to solve many, many issues at the same time. For example, today, if you look at hybrid uh, cars, they just don't solve one problem of emissions and one problem of power density. They solve multiple problems, right? They solve multiple problems of fuel economy, the carbon, uh, CO2 emissions, uh, the driver, um, uh, the, the driver of experience, the, the the fuel economy, the noise, and and so on. Multiple problems at the same time, and that's why that technology becomes a sort of a game changer. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, now tool to resolve technical contradiction is what we are talking about. And uh, before going there now, uh, in terms of uh, 40 inventive principles, I am just want to take two or three minutes of yours uh, so that <clears throat> we make the best use of this forum. Okay. Are you able to see my screen with a clear uh, website uh, uh, of Technovas website, technovas.ariaindia.com? Now, uh, last time we did that, now we are taking it next next uh, forward. This is already available, made available by Technovas team. Uh, you need to have uh, your own login, which you can create immediately. I believe you have it all. Okay. Uh, we will check that maybe sometime. Uh, then uh, if you do not have the login, please reach out to Abhishek or Ruturaj. It's very simple. Once you reach there, uh, you can see this technology wall option. Under that, you will see question and answer forum. Now we need to use it or we should use this uh, platform, you know, to <clears throat> get question and answered and build our own knowledge, right? Um, nobody is uh, fully, uh, knowledgeable for everything we will have to keep every one of you you know working on something every one of you know something more than others so we need to use this forum for asking questions uh, you can ask questions for this i procession to me uh, you can ask some general questions about automotive technologies and everybody else can see it everybody else can comment on it including me and including everybody else and it is very very simple you can do it immediately uh, today so whatever questions I am, I would like, I would like to encourage you because we are not getting enough bandwidth in this forum to keep it open and freely talk, uh, which which I would otherwise uh, like. But anyway, this is also a good way of doing it because everybody can see that uh, question and answers, uh, even if they are not attending today. Okay, so please do this technology wall question and answer. Then uh, I have another uh, slide. Uh, yeah, so it will ask you question. Uh, it will uh, sorry open up a form is very simple form. You can ask a question. For example, how does trees assist asymmetry principle work? Any question you can put. The only thing to make sure that this comes. I I come to know as a I pro query or or it goes under a community of I pro so that we have a very uh, you know. Uh, consistent communications. Uh, we need to uh, use the tag as IPRO. Otherwise, we don't know what are we talking about. Okay, so use tags others and uh, use IPRO as uh, under that other IPRO as tag so that we can filter out uh, later on. Okay, and I will uh, I commit myself that I will look at all these tags connected to IPRO and answer all your questions. That's my commitment. That's my job. Right, so I will do that. So please start using that uh, this link now. So we have covered three sessions now and you had I, 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 I am sure you have a lot of questions and I we could not really discuss it uh, in this forum face to face. Nevertheless, please use this. Ask all the questions, including all the sessions, everything. And in general, if, if there are any questions on automotive domains and products and technologies, every you are you are welcome. OK, so please use that once you post it. Uh, let me show you how it looks like. So it looks like this. Your question will appear here. Uh, and it will needs admin approval, which happens uh, in the background anyway. And everybody can put the comments. Uh, all those likes, dislikes and all those features are all there. 
and you uh, and then it, it will start going and and please re, please understand this is how we are contributing to each other your question and the answer to it the comments from every uh, others will help most of other population the students and the industries because this is how the knowledge gets built not just through the course and the training it's a ongoing phenomena all right so now the question uh, abhishek uh, i think uh, we need to ensure or maybe run a survey maybe towards the end or sometime later uh, mm -hmm. if everybody has a login and uh, if they are able to use this feature yes sir i'll do that yeah all right okay so let's move on and again uh, today is the day you should start using it i am again flashing the i am again okay let me copy this uh, link into your uh, chat just a minute let me copy this link so that it at least you have a starting point very clear starting point Yeah, so it's there in your chat. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, Abhishek, you already have put it. Thanks. OK, so don't get distracted by that link now, uh, but please copy it somewhere and uh, use it. Uh, use it for, for, for everybody's benefit, not just individual benefit. Yeah, please register yourself. It's a free registration again. And unless you register, you can't get the access. So it's a free registration. It's a very quick registration. By the way, this is just not a question and answer. That particular platform has many, many resources uh, like blogs and uh, and some uh, experts uh, articles and things like that. Please uh, make the full use of it. All right. And, uh, apart Sorry. from this, uh, I would uh, just uh, give add in two things. There are a number of webinars also that keep on happening. So there is a lot. There's a tech program. There are opportunities for students for internship. There are a lot many things that happen with technos. So I request everyone to register themselves and uh, spread about spread the idea of technos to their colleagues and uh, people who are immediately you know in their next. So Shashank has question. Abhishek, you want to answer? Question, Abhishek. Yeah, do, do we have to register as individual user or student? So if uh, the person who is uh, applying for is a working professional, then he is an individual user. If he is particularly a student, uh, bachelor, master's or PhD, he can register himself or herself as a student. All right, thank you. And please reach out to Abhishek. Abhishek, can you also type your email ID just again for a reference here? Uh, yes, sir, I'm doing that. Do that in chat. OK, so we can move on. Sorry, guys. OK, I'm sneezing anyway. Uh, fine, thank you. Uh, so you have this uh, ID also info at Technovus ARI. Please use it. Uh, request you to kindly resend the link. OK, so we'll resend this link. No problem. So Abhishek, please do that and we will start now moving on to our topic. OK, uh, all right. Uh, so we talked about contradictions, seesaw effects, and then uh, we uh, are talking about a very interesting theory called theory of inventive problem solving. OK, and and uh, general problem uh, now this is generic solution right we we saw, talked about uh, your problem and your so, uh, general problem general solution and your solution right if you remember that now this is that general we talked about your problem problem should be defined as contradiction we are very clear on that we have seen the examples you are uh, if your problem is incorrect this whatever we are discussing is of no use okay 
because problem is incorrect solution is bound to be incorrect so the first part of problem has to be very very clear we need to practice and we will keep practicing now okay now once we practice it we know it fairly well we have the generic uh, uh, we can we we, uh, we we have our problems which has defined as a contradictions now <clears throat> now these are the general generic solution okay how to go, move to generic problem uh, that is also some one step but that's that's not very important as of now don't worry about it once you define it as a contradiction that's a very very important step and then we can resolve that contradiction using one or uh, more than one trees principles and again as i said it's a very bold claim every solution under the sun have uh, obeys or respects one or the other trees principles okay now which solution uh, now let's look at uh, how it works okay what are these principles and what does it mean uh, now look uh, i'll give you an example look at the point number uh, so principle number 1 segmentation segmentation is a solution okay we call it as a generic solution we call it as inventive principle nowadays people are calling it as a model of the solution okay so it's a solution by the way it's a solution to some problem and what is and the solution is segmentation now let's look at it how it works okay okay so anyway we have a problem uh, right before the solution going to the solution we should have at least one problem in hand so this is a simplest problem i could think of train is train right railway trains uh, if built as single long compartment it will need very long track right it will to take turn if we reduce the train length right uh, to take a turn then passenger capacity will reduce right because the size is going down i hope it is very clear now don't jump into solution tell me the problem so problem is contradiction so what versus what can you tell me a versus b one liner passenger capacity versus train length simple good what else okay so i think somebody said it i'll not spend a lot of time i mean it's very clear mm. yeah sorry yeah passenger capacity versus length of track right if you want to increase the passenger capacity then uh, the length of the track okay the track length the on which the train moves that the track of that uh, the length of that track increases the and and then you have the issues of uh, building that uh, track if the length goes so high uh, because you need to you know explore and intrude into the areas to build that track okay so uh, so this problem is solved using a very simple principle called segmentation right this is one of the principles of segment uh, trees segmentation the first principle by the way so what comes to your mind so segmentation is it's it's the description will, there is a there is a description for every uh, principle and i will share you at the end of this class the entire um, description of all the sporty principle so but this is very obvious segmentation means break the part into multiple segments right segment it divide it uh, into multiple Uh, multiple units and uh, we, we have a very simple solution you divide the entire train rather than having a sim, uh, single uh, compartment have a multiple compartments what what uh, and and we still have this solution a, a look at any train anywhere in the world right we have compartments we do not have a single long you know mono uh, compartment we break it and then they are they have coupling uh, in between but they are they they, they are separate uh, they are able to move little bit or take a turn like this so so this this actually helps you to resolve the contradiction so you can still take a turn of a train uh, with a lesser length uh, of the track 
you don't have to really route it to long long uh, radius of curvature now this is an illustration of how the principle works now segmentation is a general solution it will not actually exactly tell you uh, it is not you know telling you what exactly you should do for your problem you have to pick up the essence of this solution which is all seg it say it will tell you divide the parts now how you want to divide the parts you know this is a hint as i said these are all triggers solutions and ideas are all there within you in your own mind all what we are doing here is you know creating some triggers and better and better triggers and and we need to use these triggers as i said we are because you know we are living with the psychological inertia we have some barriers so we need to overcome them and this is how we overcome them systematically okay so this is segmentation principle now let's look at application of these principles for other principles how do they how do they work and uh, before going there uh, these are this is the this is the real life application of these principles people are using these principles in the real life a uh, lot of companies are using the trees principles into their own product to make them better right so first example michelin twill now this is twill twill is where wheel and the tire are uh, you know uh, integrated together and this is a this is a derived based on the trees principle of universality this is the trees principles in action this is a very new product from uh, michelin very new and recent product by the way look at this simple example of umbrella we know uh, storm we know what uh, what happens to umbrella in the heavy storms it goes upside down right and uh, you may know you may might have experienced so this is a principle of asymmetry where you can see that umbrella uh, which is asymmetric around the axis and that helps you to make it storm proof right see look at this principle i, I like this principle uh, look at this it is not a change in the technology as such it is nothing like you are bringing some scientific effect it just about using some you no know, model of the solution right some solution is already available and you are bringing that solution and essence of it when you add to your product which is maybe you can call it as a baseline product we always have a baseline product something else happens to the product something some inventive steps uh, comes into the picture so this is an inventive step and uh, when, whenever there is an inventive step uh, you can go and file for a patent we will talk about patent sometime next uh, week right uh, ketchup easy flow trees other way around this is another way around principle uh, easy flow sauce because it uses the principle of this uh, gravity and uh, you can squeeze it smoothly and not um, not lose your patience when it comes out so and the fourth is uh, this is again an indian product uh, which is a edible cutlery because we have car uh, we have this plastic disposal issues right so what this company has done they have made the cutlery itself from edible product you can eat those uh, like your ice cream cone and this is a principle of cheap resources the other is the field substitution another principle out of those 40 this is a digital tape digital tape uh okay now look at these products nothing to i mean they are all different industry different people every the different regions everything is different but they all are obeying one or the other trees principles and they are all innovative products by the way okay that's the power of trees and that's why this has become this is the one theory which is not obsolete yet we there there is a continual work happening continual development happening on the promise of system uh, on the promise of making the innovation systematic all right now let's go now let's come back to some industry and automotive where we work and i will illustrate how this works so that by the way when i explaining it sometimes it may not uh, feel you sometimes it may not really uh very easy sometimes to comprehend sometimes it is very easy so there are two always two sets of feedback 
and i let me tell you this needs practice if you look at a principle you just you just uh, cannot claim that now i have the solution even it needs a practice of contextualizing even it uh, we need to understand how to apply that particular principle for our problem it, and which principle to apply is also a next uh, uh, next element which we will talk but it needs practice it just does not come uh, by looking at that principle and you know claiming that now i can come out with the best possible solution no it takes time uh, you need to again um, uh, mix and match some principles so contextualize in you for your own problem it needs some practice but it's it's very interesting uh, it is very effective uh, if you learn it and i i am i am here to coach you and help you how to use this theory okay now let's talk about how the principles in general work so it's a description of principle of local quality okay this is another th third or fourth principle in that uh, list read it uh, i mean this is how they describe it nothing uh, nothing uh, complicated here okay now uh, change an objective system for uniform to non uniform change an external environment from uniform to non uniform make each part of an object or system in conditions most suitable for its operation so in say in essence uh, i will put my essence here if you look at the circle and the dot right or a knife knife uh, has a uh, sharp edge only at local place not everywhere else only where it cuts you need the sharp edge that's called as local quality so change something locally take the actions locally not everywhere not uniformly so that's why it says uniform to non uniform do not make the things uniform do not make the things homogeneous allow the heterogeneity into your design or technology okay this is a this is the meaning of this local quality now look at some example okay we will apply this principle of local quality for this very uh, live examples now this is one a very live uh, known examples uh, in, in engines high power of engine needs higher fuel quantity okay and rich fuel mixer mix mixer leading to higher emission in gasoline right so if you need higher power you need to inject higher fuel and yeah injecting higher fuel will give you higher power no doubt but it will create a incomplete combustion right mm. and then uh, you have a problem of emissions and things like that so there is a clear contradiction and and again this is a practice uh sorry right so sorry sorry sorry, sorry. something is wrong here okay so this is a clear contradiction and and if you apply this principle of local quality here right take the actions locally so do so when you take the actions locally locally may move from uniformity to non uniformity homogeneous mixture to heterogeneous mixture what you get is a very simple solution directly apply it you will get gasoline lean burn stratified charge engine now this is a very big technology name but this actually is a simple application of local quality so what it does is it will it will have a rich mixer whatever you say here only at the place where combustion happens which is near spark plug so you anyway have the rich mix mixer mixture actually i'm say uh, i should say mixture here rich mixture at the place where combustion initiates which is near the spark plug everywhere else heterogeneous right everywhere else non uniform it should be linear mixture of fuel and air and he, and this technology is called as lean burn stratified charge engine now the term look very big but this is exactly what they are doing and it helps you to resolve the contradiction of uh, power versus emissions very simple application of our tris principle of local quality and when you apply this to your problem the idea starts coming in the on the horizon please understand ideas are there within us again i am saying 
trees is not giving you any ideas. Trees is not uh, doing anything. If you ask me, it is you who are doing it. It is only triggering you. Uh, triggering your brain or mind and thought creative process. That's it. So don't expect that this will give you the ready made ideas. Of course, nobody should expect. Now look at the other uh, simple example. High speed vehicle turning often leads to under or over steer leading to loss in vehicle control. OK, can somebody tell me what comes to your mind? Uh, when you apply the principle of local quality to this solution. So you so there is a contradiction. You want high speed, but you we want uh, uh, stability or vehicle control also. So apply the local quality. You are a vehicle designer. What comes to your mind? ESP technology. Uh, Bibhu said, "What is ESP? Can you put the long form? EBD." Guys, please put the long forms uh, for others, uh, including me. EBD is electronic brake distribution. We shall say it uh, right. ESP, I think, I don't know. Uh, electronic stability control, maybe. Traction control system. Yeah, it, this is part of traction control system. Uh, it, the electronic stability program. Yeah, this is part of electronic stability. Exactly. Thanks. Uh, and thanks for my ignorance. Sometimes I, uh, I hear different words. In different contexts. So thanks for this. This is exactly electronic brake distribution, electronic stability program. Keep the center of gravity low. No, keep the center of gravity low is not the application of local quality directly. So please apply this principle only for for the sake of practicing. You can you can have many other solutions. I'm not claiming that this is the only solution, but uh, yeah. This is one of the solutions of traction control vector breaking. Yeah, yeah. So vector breaking is again application of local quality. Exactly. Patanjali said it. OK, third example. Aircraft propeller needs uh, to develop high specific thrust. Now they are moving. See, look at where, where are we moving? We are moving from engine. Uh, to automotive uh, car and to aircraft. OK, so even if you are not an aircraft expert, you can still. You can still apply this principle and point out the, where the things can be uh, modified and improved. OK, so let's attempt aircraft propeller need to develop high specific thrust. However, with increased airflow, aerodynamic efficiency reduces, right? So very simple flow rate versus efficiency. That's a contradiction. So what comes to your mind? We are talking about aircraft propeller. And and do not go anywhere else. Uh, only stay with local quality. Do not go anywhere else. Something has to be done on propeller. Question is already there. Uh, uh, on the screen, right? Aircraft propeller need to develop high specific thrust. However, with increased airflow, aerodynamic efficiency reduces. We shall say can't see the slide. Uh, what about others? Can you see my slide it and the question? Oh, we it can see. Okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, so I think we shall. You need to figure out what is happening. Okay. Uh, so so say somebody says aero something I missed that. OK, uh, blade design with taper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aerodynamic. Uh, it's all about aerodynamic, but local quality. Tell me the principle. Don't make it so generic. Now it is local quality means what? What will you do? So you have a propeller, right? You keep the propeller on the table in, uh, in your uh, at the center of your uh, focus and see what can you do locally so that efficiency if aerodynamic efficiency uh, improves. Do something locally. Do not make the things same everywhere. Do not make the things same everywhere. Do not keep the uh, features. 
and control same everywhere i'm giving you a lot of hints this is i mean that's why we need little bit of practice anything comes to your mind twisting the blade so we shall see it and thank you so twisting the blade is so now twisting is an act twisting is an outcome but what is mean what are we doing local quality is we are changing the blade angle locally the locally means at the hub it is a different and then as you move away from the hub towards the outer diameter it is different and different and it is continuously changing and it that's why it looks like twisted it looks like twisted uh, right twisting is not the principle please understand twisting is not the principle principle is local quality which is very 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 generic to this principle and then once you do that and you will see that most helicopter blade uh, sorry the propeller blades uh, and and uh, efficient uh, if you are uh, developing an efficient you know aerodynamic solutions you will always see some kind of twists uh, and the blade angles and even going forward there is a principle of trees called dynamics where we keep controlling the things in time so these angles can also change as a function of time based on how much speed you are moving and variable you you have you have all that variable angle and variable geometry all right so i think this is what how this principle works again i said it needs practice we need to understand the principle first take an essence of it and uh, move on now let's 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 have few more examples and uh, uh, and see how how they are working right now let's move on to a principle of universality or multifunctionality another principle of uh, trees so what it says is make an object or system or perform multiple functions okay so one object or system make it to perform multiple functions eliminate the need for other parts right or use standardized features the way we have you know platform structures we have uh, standardization uh, uh, projects all that is part of this universality or multifunctionality so you have one object and there are it, it, uh, make it to perform multiple functions when it says make it to perform multiple functions we are not talking about compromising it should perform all the functions equally well okay that's called multifunctionality now let's look at some example a passenger car chassis constitute significant weight leading to poor fuel efficiency correct so vehicle payload capacity versus weight so this is what the problem is so do you know uh, if you apply universality what does what does come to your mind i'll give you an example i'll give i will the solution so that you understand this principle so monocoque chassis so monocoque is a new chassis design it's not actually new but it's a it's a modern i would say uh, chassis design where the chassis of a car is performing two functions it is a it is anyway acting as a chassis and it is also acting as a body of the uh, uh, passenger car it is also acting the body of the passenger car so it is performing two functions and uh, this is now common for or almost all automotive uh, cars uh, except uh, which are heavier where we don't we need a lot of structural strength there we don't use it but passenger cars this is becoming very very common so anyway we are talking about passenger cars here okay now let's go to the next problem tires with air pressure provides right traction however is sensitive to leakage puncture leading to poor reliability yeah i mean the very common issue right so any solution from anybody when you apply the principle of universality please do not go anywhere else per universality or multifunctionality so allow one part one ob uh, one object or one system to achieve multiple functions tubeless tires tubeless tires are also sensitive i mean yeah yeah to a good extent tubeless tires solves the problem right 
but tubeless tire now we are moving to beyond tubeless tires we don't want that uh, air issue because of that air pressure 12 yeah somebody said it so it's a, it's a, you know next version of uh, tubeless which is 12 next version tubeless is a good answer i i liked it and perhaps you know why tubeless tires came into picture because it we moved from uh, the the tube tires to tubeless to address some of the some issues but now we are moving further next uh, to even you know move away from the issues with tubeless so this is a michelin twin okay now 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 universality means the same part is performing two function tire as well as wheel so it is that's why it's called twill tire as well as wheel there are two different uh, earlier they were two different uh, parts now this is a single part okay now third again very very interesting example or important hybrid electric vehicles convert braking energy into electrical energy we know that uh, we, it's called a regenerative braking right which needs additional generator because see when you are braking you need to convert that wheel energy into electrical right so uh, that's called regenerative braking but uh, you can you 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 need to have some generator to convert convert that uh, uh, electricity so this is an additional you know requirement of this function so how do they what comes to your mind universality universality and multifunctional do not go anywhere else please stay and apply this problem to hybrid what comes to your mind motor can be reversed to be used as a generator yeah we can convert the motor to generate vice versa exactly that's right so so that's what we say universality so convert that motor into the generator we need a generator function i am not saying generator part we need a generator function and that function can be enabled into the existing motor and we call it as a mg motor motor generator in the hybrid electric vehicle is very very famous okay this is how the principles works now let's look at another few principles segmentations right we talked about train example which says divide or segment parts into independent parts right simple increased degree of fragmentation divide or segment functions into multiple sub functions right so this you can see the circle and segmentation just to illustrate look at some good examples here tires again with high surface area provides high traction on dry surface but loses traction on wet surface okay so tires with high surface area so you have this contradiction traction surface area versus hydroplaning coefficient on wet surface so this is the real uh, problem on the tires now segmentation means patterns now use the segmentation i'll give an example and then 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 i we will make it more interactive see this is the segmented tire you don't see a flat uniform plain tire right you see segmented you see those treads now so now look at the words treads somebody says patterns somebody says different words somebody said like we said twisting lot of english can flow uh, and everything is perfectly fine and these are all marketing words but essentially for a technologist this is a simple principle called segmentation you can call it treads you can call it uh, grids you can call it uh, serrations you can call it corrugations that is all up to you what you want to call it you can give some glamorous names all up to you essentially this is a direct application of a principle of segmentation okay which helps you uh, to take your uh, or you know uh, maneuver or um, uh, mitigate the uh, dry terrain as well as the wet terrains now now i will go to exam second example high power in diesel engines need higher fuel quantity which leads to poor combustion efficiency for same air flow simple high power in diesel engines or any engines needs higher fuel quantity which leads to poor combustion efficiency now uh, what comes to your mind
EGR. Now, see the talk about segmentation. Please do not go anywhere else. Otherwise, we will be a turbocharger is not a segmentation. Talk about segmentation. Simple. By the way, I'll give you a uh, simpler example. This is same example in boiler. Uh, you need high power in the boiler or higher heat uh, in the boiler. So you put coal instead of diesel. Let's talk about coal. Uh, but if you just put keep uh, adding the you know uh, solid coal, it will uh, it may in, it may create a poor combustion efficiency, right? So similar problem. High fuel burning, multi fuel injection. No, what do we do? Please understand. Segmentation means I want to really I want you to see the segmentation in in the uh, segmentation uh, playing the role. What are we segmenting? Segmenting means cutting the things into multiple multiple parts, small small parts, divi dividing the things. What will you divide and tell me? That's the simple answer. Uh, simple question and an answer should be equally simple. What will you divide? Mm, segmenting in muffler? No 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 no. Very simple guys. Don't think you are thinking uh, thinking a lot. Segment something. What are you segmenting? No ignition timing. No, 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 no. Divide something into parts. Secondary fuel. No. Secondary fuel injection. Yeah, could be, could be, could be right. Secondary fuel injection because you are dividing the uh, the fueling into multiple uh, sections of fueling. So very good. That that is one. That is one uh, very good. Uh, Apply contextualizing. This is how I want you to contextualize. You are breaking something. But then something else is there. Something very, very simple and fundamental. Boxer engine, no, no, don't, don't, don't go. A boxer engine, do tell me simple. Engine alignment, no, 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 no. Guys, please stick with the segmentation. What are you going to segment? Segmentation means I will again explain you. Take one part, one object. And divide them into multiple parts. Simple. Increasing strokes. Increasing strokes. Okay. No, that's not about. We are talking about fuel, fuel system here. Actually, uh, higher fuel quantity, right? We're something multi-point fuel injection system MPFI. No, 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 no. See, don't tell me the solution now. I'm not looking for the word. I'm looking for what we what are you going to segment? What are you going to segment? You need an object to segment, right? You see here we segmented the tire. Now we have, what will you segment in this case? You need to segment something, right? You need to have some a part to segment. Number of cylinders. No, no, we are not. We are not doing the number of cylinders. Number of cylinders are fixed here. What are you going to segment? Segment of fuel injection line. No, no, no. That's not what we are doing, right? That's what not industry doing. Pressure applied on fuel in stages. No, I am asking a simple question. What are you going to segment? What is the object name? Combustion chamber. No, no, we don't segment combustion chamber, but but you can do that. I'm, I'm giving you very specific hint of what industry has done. You can segment combustion chamber perfectly fine answer. But something very fundamental VGT no VGT. I'm not asking the question of technology. Please, please listen to me. What will you segment in the first case? You segmented tire surface, right? You segmented tire surface. What will you segment? CRDI is not again. CRDI, I'm not I'm not expecting answer like this injectors segmenting injectors. Go fundamental guys go little bit fun. What are you segmenting? Fuel supply supply. We are not segmenting. What are we segmenting? What are we dividing? What are we dividing one uh, bigger thing into smaller, 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 smaller things so that uh, combustion efficiency goes up for the same fuel quantity. So please, please keep the problem statement again on uh, uh, on the focus. We are improving combustion efficiency for the same fuel quantity. What are you going to segment? It's a very obvious answer. Answer is there on the screen, by the way. I mean, it is all there in the question. Engine RPM, no. C 
CRDI is all CRDI. CRDI is a marketing name. Tell me what are they doing? What are we segmenting? Compression ratio? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Injection timing? No. Very fundamental, very simple. Segmenting means breaking the things into small, small parts. If I take a chalk, I can break the chalk into small, small parts. Right. So Hari Krishnan said it now after a long time. It is the fuel. It is the fuel which is segmented. It is the fuel which is segmented. Diesel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now they are talking. We are talking about diesel. Simple. It's a diesel fuel which is segmented into small, 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 small parts. And how do you do that? Is then you call it as a CRD and all those things. So ultimately, we have high pressure fuel injection. What exactly it does it? It segments. It segments your uh, uh, particles. At now you the term is atomization. Atomization is nothing but segmenting a bigger drop into small, 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 small parts. Now this is what where the fundamental lies. Now how to segment it? Yeah, you will have to have uh, injector which with multiple uh, multiple holes and small sizes holes. Now because of the small sizes, the resistance will go up, and that's why you will increase your pressure, uh, so that the same fuel quantity uh, comes 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 inside. That is all secondary developments. But essence of the technology, essence of CRDI, whatever you are want to say. Now, now there are many words there. Uh, somebody called it the DICR. Somebody called CRDI. Somebody ca called hyper uh, uh, injection system. All that is there. But essence is segmentation is about segmenting the diesel, segmenting the fuel. So please take to this is what trees is telling us, and this is bringing the discipline, right? This is called that is what is systematic innovation. It is asking you to don't go anywhere. See, look at the object uh, which is which is actually flowing in the system, right? This is the object which is actually the essence of this problem, the fuel. Now your engine needs fuel, and now you are segmenting the fuel. Ah, yeah, you can segment injectors, you can segment combustion bowl, you can segment piston. All that is fine, perfectly fine. But at a fundamental level, you need to segment something like this. Okay. I hope I made a point, uh, but uh, but I think this is a good practice. This is what I uh, this is what we are expected to learn and practice. OK, and believe me, CRDI is a segmentation principle. Very simple. This is not a very high fi uh, solution. This is a simple solution. Yeah, but technology and the feasibility and the failure modes that is all understood. That's why it takes time uh, to implement. Now let's look at third example. Now we are talking about batteries. Solid state electrolyte enables batteries to have higher energy density. However, it's difficult to roll or fold to package. Anybody can guess. Anybody can guess power density using solid state. Solid state electrolyte. Right, it, it enables you to have higher energy density. However, it's difficult to roll or fold to package. Any, any, any. Just, just up. Don't worry if you are not a battery expert. Just apply the principle of segmentation. What comes to your mind? Spraying the electrolyte in a separator and roll it. Go. Think simple. Think simpler. Segment. Divide something. Divide what? Segment something. What will you seg segment? What comes to your mind? Modular segmentation of electrolyte. Yes. Segmentation of electrolyte cell using smaller cell modules. Patanjali said it. Yeah, what comes to your mind? Stack of electrolyte layers. Very good. This is exactly what they are doing. Uh, the stack or 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 what you call it as a uh, cell segmented cell. You all sales, right? Somebody said cell segmented cells in battery. Now this is a patent of. If you look at this patent, it is 2017. This that means it is 2017 patent. This is a 2017 patent. This is not 15 years old patent. This is three or four years old patent only in US. And patent means nobody has done this before. 
2017. But this is just an application of principle of segmentation. Apply it and you will get the solution. And then you can file a patent. Now, by the way, these trees and everything is heavily used for patent creation. Sometime, if I get a time, I will talk about it, about patents and things like that uh, as a part of this course. But this is now. I can't emphasize more, but I again want to give you or, or no, re make you realize. Look at this slide. Look at these three problems tires, injector, and electrolyte. They are completely you no know, different ball games. They are, they, they, they are the person working on tire may not even. Uh, know how the injectors works and this person may not even know how the electrolyte works. They may not even talk to each other. They may not know even uh, they may not even meet each other in their whole lifetime. But in fact. They are all working on the same solution segmentation. So the problem is already solved. It's the same thing. Your problem is already solved by somebody else. Even if you are solving this problem 2017. The tire problem is solved already 30 years back. This is not a new tire technology. This is the tires with treats is all known since the wheels are invented. This is not new. Now, uh, but but the practice makes us, uh, you know, practice actually going to help us irrespective of the domain in which we are working. So if you learn all these 40 principles, anything uh, like any new technology will not. It will look very simpler for you. People may use marketing words to confuse you CRD for example if I tell it to a tire manufacturer uh, he will say wow something very fascinating but if I tell you that we are just you know segmenting uh, the fuel the way you segment your tire then he is not really you know excited uh, but but that's how it is okay so I hope I made a point okay now uh, we'll just you know have uh, one more example to to See how 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 this this really works. So intermediary use an intermediary carrier article or intermediary process. So so intermediary is very simple mediator right mediators. We need mediators between two people. Now in the technology we need these intermediary objects intermediary fields between the two functions or two parts. So one is let's say gray part here and the other is the whatever orange. So we have something interfacing. So somehow these two these two parts somehow you know cannot in interact seamlessly they need something in between again to resolve the contradiction we are all doing everything to resolve the contradiction there is no other purpose we are not doing it for the sake of doing it if these principles are not helping uh, then you need to move to second principle and third and fourth and so on there are only 40 doesn't if you practice it it doesn't take more than 15 minutes. Now oh, let's look at intermediary. I'll directly give you an example. Now this is a your uh, wind uh, uh, windshield uh, of the car, right? The front glass. Okay. Now, now this has to perform very in, uh, important functions. One is visibility to the driver, and the protection from the external environment. Uh, right visibility and protection versus safety because if you keep the glass transparent you will be able to see you know uh, clearly but if some accident happens something happens the glass will actually uh, damage you more than the car does or some some i mean your you, your car part will damage you more than the uh, the external object so what do they do so they anyway use the glass but they between two glasses they use something called PVB intermediate layer, which is polyvinyl butyl. I'm not a chemical uh, expert, but we, if I know this principle, I can go to a chemical engineer, an expert, and tell him that can you can you tell me something like this, like uh, somebody says rubber sheet, yeah, things like that. Put something so that when the accident happens, what happens is the glass do not shatter away. You have seen that glass do not shatter away. They will still stick. Uh, they will still stick to uh, to 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 this uh, intermediate layer, and you will be you will be safer. That's what uh, that's what the intermediate layer does, right? It's a very 
common principle, but this is a inventive principle. Now look at battery. Electron transport via chemical reaction versus reliability. Now this is a problem where uh, you have different layers uh, in the battery like substratum and then uh, and, and, and active material, right? Now what happens is when uh, when the battery is conducting the current, there is some internal leakages are happening. The current is diffusing inside, which is a loss, right? Uh, unnecessary chemical reactions are happening, okay? And uh, that actually uh, affects the reliability of this battery. Now what they what what they did? They have just intro. They have not. They, they have introduced some intermediate layer like this diffusion layer and addition layer. Now this is again a direct application of intermediary principles. It's and, and and if you ask me this addition layer diffusion barrier, they are all available in the market. It's not that you are inventing something new, but you know that uh, that this is a layer. It's like an insulation of heat. Uh, you know that this will insulate uh, the electron to move and you are just bringing that uh, barrier in, uh, or a material as an intermediary between the active material and substratum. This is again 2011 patent uh, for the battery electrodes. Okay, now go to the third part. Electric vehicle again, uh, safety and the maximum power. The more uh, power we draw, uh, it can create uh, higher currents and sometimes uh, during transients the currents can pick uh, shoot up can damage uh, and, and uh, temperatures can go up and you can get into thermal runaway and things like that uh, so there is an intermediary between the battery and the electrical devices like motor and we call it as a fuse and we even we have this at in our homes so so this is not again a new technology but it's a direct application of principle of intermediary use of fuse so we are not re reducing the current right we are not saying that be very conservative only run at 50 percent of the capacity no let it run at 100 percent capacity but have some intermediary between the motor and the battery so that even if the motor draws higher current for some situations even if some happen something goes wrong in the motor it can sometimes draw the more current let it draw and but then the fuse will you know uh, fuse you know what happens uh, fuse will disconnect the the current flow disconnect the circuit this is an e simple example of fuse it is all uh, okay so it's all uh, application of intermediary okay so can you now tell me uh, so so if you remember this was the three examples we looked at and Al Schuller said that this is uh, this is nothing but a same solution. This is not three different solutions like EBD and the ball swing and the twisted propeller and 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 the common theme here was a local quality, right? It's a local quality. Very simple. This is a local quality principle. And look at the range of the industries the range of application and he claimed that give me bring me any solution i will prove it to you that this follow for i mean he was owner of trees of course uh, he would have more uh, passion uh, for his theory and uh, he claimed it uh, boldly now coming back to question of now we talked about 40 principles right now somebody may ask how do i know which principle to use right there are 40 See, we want everything efficient fast instant so then people asked al Schuller, oh you said it like 40 principles um things are uh, things looks uh, interesting but i don't have time of 40 principles can you tell me which principle should i use for my problem now this gentleman worked on that area also although i uh, let's see how how what he did and let's see the success of it later on so let me explain what he did and very very interesting uh, what he did sorry now let's so okay somebody would have come to him with this problem of 
as vehicle goes on high grade oil level will move causing inadequate or no lubric or no lubrication to engine right so you want to go to the high high grade but you have this kind of sloshing right and then uh, you cannot pump the oil into the engine so you have the contradiction of quantity of oil for lubrication versus size or weight of oil pan so you you need to convert this problem for example the way it is done here by that person you can solve this problem but you need to increase the weight of the oil pan you make it double or triple uh, so that it is always dipped uh, your pump uh, connections and uh, whatever you call it as the the suction point is all always dipped uh, into the uh, deep sum BRM is deep something like that and maybe increasing the capacity of the oil pan things like that and you can't deprive your uh, system with the oil you can't uh, afford it now now somebody asked how tell me which solution should I use right tell me which solution should I use out of that 40 so Alshuler answered this question and he developed a tool using and that he called as trees contradiction matrix now this is a very famous um, tool when it started uh, so so Prasad and everybody you are jumping into solution yeah fine uh, but but look look at the tool before jumping into solution so trees contradiction matrix is is what dev was developed by Al Schuller and his team so what they did is they said okay this is your general generic problem uh, sorry this is your specific problem I will help you to convert it into a generic problem using this tool and then I will also tell you which uh, generic solution which are my inventive principle applicable for your problem so he developed a matrix like this where you have a parameter to improve so you have this contradiction right a versus b so first parameter is a and the second parameter is b which is which are in contradic contradiction to each other like a seesaw effect and once you select this uh, you it, it tells you what are the uh, principles which are applicable to this problem so now this tool have only 37 parameters uh, in this uh, first box where you select uh, the, the contradictory pair and which are generic in nature so far so, and which which we need to convert so we need to convert our specific contradiction into generic parameter or generic contradiction is what is what that is what I said it's a gender we need to convert it into generic problem okay so look at this quantity of oil uh, so the first parameter is amount of substance okay amount of substance so quantity of oil is amount of substance uh, my generic and second was size or weight uh, so second is weight of stationary object so these parameters are already standardized okay you need to drop down uh, and select it okay very simple amount of substance versus weight of stationary object it will not ask you which truck your driver is ask, uh, driving and what is the grade of oil? No, this is a very generic statement and we need to work through that. Now, once you select this, automatically this tool will tell you these are my principles. 20 uh, cheap disposable copying mechanical vibration, physical or chemical. Out of those 40, some, some principles will pop up here. Now you need to go back and apply all of that, all the four and see which is giving you the most promising idea okay now this tool is not going to tell you which one is the best you that is our job you we know our problem we know our constraints so uh, let's now let me apply copy principle now what comes to your mind i want you to apply the copy principle copy means uh very simple right copy we know now uh, take the same part copy it replica maybe a smaller or bigger of it and uh, apply it use it somewhere else no copy that copy it uh, no, co copy that feature copy that uh, function copy that part and use that copy somewhere else meaningfully yeah. again needs a practice but so, does something comes to your mind So now I want you to copy something in the whole system of 
uh, oil pan is there oil is there mm, the pump is uh, pumping the oil and this is not an engine issue uh, the, this you can apply it anywhere as i said very very generic principle small pump small pump yeah i had I have one more pump I have one more pump yeah copy copy the pump okay what else keep thinking and when you do this brainstorming right you need to stick to this principle what else can i copy you have to lay down the entire you know system in place of you uh, in front of you look at all your parts it becomes a very simple interesting exercise with your team and see what can you ca copy and some now what are all the parts can you tell me what are all the parts of this system pump what else somebody says copy the pump secondary oil pump yeah secondary oil sump secondary oil sump so oil sump itself can be copied okay any any anything else anything else and but but by the way uh, hari krishnan has given this answer it's a secondary oil pump means it's a copy of the oil pump so they did that in fact so this is a patent just just so i have taken the copy as it is from public domain uh, public uh, domain partition is also possible uh, ram mohan is saying all that is possible uh, nothing wrong about it you can do all that partition uh, but this particular uh, uh, team of people has just used that co copying principle and what uh, you can read you can you can understand what they did they just copied that oil pan somewhere in the engine on the on the upper part uh, generally it is at the down one they have they have they have copied it maybe a smaller version of it you know modified it it's not a literal copy you think use it as a principle okay and kept it somewhere on the top so that even if you are riding on a vertical uh, a gradient you can uh, you can still uh, the engine can still get the oil from the top reservoir for that particular uh, time frame you okay, can read it for 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 a second or for few seconds okay all right so this is what and this is a 2019 paper patent now this is this is from cummins uh, by the way where i work uh, but anyway uh, you can apply it for any it's, it's a general principle okay so this is a principle of copying this is how the contradiction matrix works uh, now uh, let us make it more smart you can uh, right now or maybe after this you can download this uh, matrix uh, on your mobile and uh, it's a free application on android uh, called trees qms uh, in the google play store so you don't have to use this kind of uh, excel uh, matrix and things like that okay and you can select uh, the the this pair of contradiction and it will throw you the principles it is all there it's all free it's all free okay so trees qms please uh, note it down and uh, use that okay now what happened to this tool then later on then it became i mean this was not like you know a versatile way of doing it uh, even there was no even this formulation of you know problem in a generic way people found it little bit difficult uh, because you know you, you have some problems like um, efficacy uh, of chemical reaction now you cannot find out a generic parameter for efficacy of chemical reaction so people struggled a lot about using this simpler uh, tool and then uh, it was you know made obsolete uh, by the same person who developed this methodology uh, alshuler he said this is not really very elegant tool although you can keep it for reference and then he himself recommended to go through all 40 principles because 40 principles are anyway uh, proven 
and researched so anyway uh, he recommended to go through all 40 principles for your problem so what he's saying is if you have a problem uh, just run through this 40 and see which if you are getting the so you, you may get 40 ideas you may get 20 ideas or you may get 80 ideas that's all fine and and more the quantity of ideas the better you know the opportunity for innovation so he he just he and the whole team suggested and even today uh, i if if i have to do a brainstorming uh, it's worth going through all 40 principles i mean it's how much time does it take but you you may come out with a very uh, elegant idea so we need to practice read all those these 40 principles i will share you a sort of a write up or pdf where these principles are explained and there are a lot of good books also uh, on trees so where you can learn about uh, some more descriptions but they are not very difficult to understand and when you are solving your own problems in a team or individually that's all fine apply all the 40 and, and note down what comes to your uh, mind okay please note down create the array of ideas this is the phase where we are creating the array of ideas we are creating the uh, you know uh, we are encouraging the quantity of the ideas we are not judging the ideas at this phase of the product development we are not throwing any ideas it is we are still in the idea generation uh, we are gen uh, we are uh, still in the idea generation phase okay we are not uh, we are not judging the ideas we are not throwing the ideas we are not finalizing the idea nothing we are doing just generate keep generating we will do we will see what to do with those uh, later on okay so now my i'm coming towards the end uh, and uh, taking back to the fundamentals and our ground of doing all these things uh, why do we develop ideas tell me uh, now we talk, we can have you know uh, myriads of ideas uh, at this point of time but going back to the purpose why are we doing the idea, why why do we develop ideas ultimately what we want to do for conformity no 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 looking for very specific for innovation to solve problems to get solutions no be very specific we are we are now we are we have to use i pro i pro terminologies our comfort no everything is right but i am looking for a simple keyword satisfaction personal satisfaction is all fine that's not the ultimate purpose innovation solution no 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 product ha huh. but but can we be can can it be more specific why are we developing ideas what are what is the ultimate you need user needs yeah 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 user needs any specific any specific any to meet customer requirements very good so somebody said it Aruna Chalam said it to meet customer requirements. Ideas are there, but now, 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 what, what is the terminology or what parameters in the language of IPRO we use for representing customer requirements? Can somebody tell me? Mm, we have seen it in the first class in the last week. MPV, yeah, Mitesh said it is MPV, and I am very happy for that. MPV is a lighthouse to set the direction for product development. So all these ideas are developed to meet MPVs, main parameters of value. If it is not able to achieve main parameters of value, which is, you know, performance and um, power and efficiency in life or aesthetics um, or energy density, whatever it is, your ideas uh, doesn't uh, I mean, the ideas become academic in that case. So ideas are means to achieve MPVs, but ideas are important because uh, customer demands are a little bit tricky. And we have also have the insights which is based on observation. We have seen those examples uh, may not be directly voice of customer and, and that is important element which constitutes MPV. So it's a lighthouse when you are sailing in the boat, please do not no, please do not uh, distract and, and go behind an idea because it came from our mind. If, if it does not meet the MPV, even if it is the greatest idea of the uh, day, 
and please throw it out. Okay, don't get attached to your ideas and don't get biased with that ideas and don't worry about the ideas. Just uh, ideas how to keep in the table and then look at it objectively. Whether how fast they can take us towards MPV. OK, now once we have this array of ideas, something interesting happens and where uh, this is where I will uh, stop today and we will start it next week. So when when the ideas comes into picture, we have these MPVs, right? MPV1, MPV2, we started with this an innovation vector. Uh, and and then you can point and then this is a this is called an MPV plot. You can you know. Put your ideas. On this plot, how good idea is to meet your MPV and is the idea taking you towards ideal final result, which is innovation vector. This is a vector right where we want to achieve both MPV and MPV2. All right, so we will come back uh, next week uh, and understand what do we do with this plot. This is some there is some hidden message on in this plot. There is something interesting uh, which we will uh, talk about next uh, next week. By the way. Uh, right, so. Uh, anyway, we will we'll come back by the way. Can there is one questions? What does the color represent? So so I have grouped the ideas, right? They are just a part of one family. Uh, and this is what you will see when the ideas are arrays of ideas are generated. Can you tell me what does the color represent? Any guess? That's that's maybe a question for you to figure out for next class. The color represents something very, very important aspect of the product. Uh, where the ideas are clubbed around some theme. What is that theme? What is that color represents? OK, so think about it. That's a thought. Uh, so food for thought and uh, we will. Uh, uh, stages. No, that's not the answer. Think about it. We are already at 133. Uh, and again, uh, please put all your answers to this question in, in your iPro blog. So I am going to put a questions in the in the in the iPro blog with this image and I, I expect uh, a word a group of ideas. I understand it, but but what is the name? What does it mean? What is what does that color represent? There's something very, very unique and special about that color. OK, so with that, um, please use that again blog. 